Tara Hoyle. Brian Moody. I'm Nancy Pope. The Andre Gowans. Wesley Evans. We're the life of the party. you know a big opera going on and there's a either a big city scene or there's a big party scene we are what makes that scene come to life so while we might not be the people that you hear primarily throughout the entire opera we are what makes that stage light up these people are just some of the most amazing people that you're ever going to meet in your entire life um, you know a lot of us have regular day jobs and this is kind of our art that we love to do and it's really amazing to share this art that you love with people who also love it um, so I think there's always a sense of that that we bring to the shows. Well, for me personally, and I know for probably all of us, I always um, create my own character and um, sometimes my own name, my relationship with the other people, the principals, anybody else on stage. Of course, this, in this one, I'm a sister or a cousin or aunt. I've decided I'm a cousin. And we start rehearsals actually before the rest of the cast gets here, sometimes two weeks before. So we kind of have time to like bond together and really uh, learn our stuff as a unit uh, before the rest of the cast shows up. A lot of the people, including in this group and, and some others, have been here a long time. So we've naturally formed those bonds. We've been through a lot of different productions and directors and things like that together. Um, but then when the new people come in, we sort of bring them into the fold and, and it changes the dynamic in a positive way. It's great to have you know new people on stage with you. They bring something different that you know maybe we haven't thought of before but definitely spending the time at you know either after shows when we're on the road or on the bus I remember a bus ride back from <laughs> Richmond I think and we sang Christmas carols the whole way home brings you closer together and then when you have that trust with the people that you are on stage with you're able to take more chances you feel more comfortable you don't you know shy away from doing something a little different and it's good because not only do the other choristers the relatively new ones look up to us and ask us questions and so do the principals when they come to town so that's a, a really good thing as well it's kind of funny you say that Andre because one of the principals in this show just came to me and she said so I don't have rehearsal this Saturday and I have all this free time. What's going on? Like, what's happening in town? And I was like, well, there's the Stockton Gardens Arts Festival and there's the Wine Festival. And she's like, oh, good to know. So mm -hmm. we are kind of the, I guess, the liaisons in a way. Yeah. Having lived here for 20 years, I'm still surprised at the number of people I meet in the community who don't know we have an opera in that, in the community. Yeah. They don't know that Virginia Opera exists here and that the Opera House is right downtown. There's an Opera House here? I'm always surprised at that. I mean, I've been here 20 years and in this chorus for 14 and I'm surprised at the number of people who don't know that we exist. But you know, the good the good side of that is if you get them here, they're hooked because it's such a good product. It's, it's, it's such an uplifting experience. It, it really is. It's, Glenn Winters does such a good job in his before show talks about any any show we're doing and if you come to that you you just gain so much if you don't already know about the production we're sort of the front lines for like local uh local marketing because you know of course people are asking oh what are you doing tonight oh i have rehearsal do you want to go out i'm sorry i have rehearsal what are you rehearsing for and we're always saying the opera I'm like you sing opera it's crazy right. where can i buy tickets and so sing a note. right we're sort <laughs> of like exactly. sing a note. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really great to kind of serve as like an ambassador for the opera you know what i like is um i have two young daughters um and so they come to student night at the opera and they tell their friends about student night at the opera um and to them they think i'm some sort of rock star that i'm on stage right. and i get to wear all these costumes right. but it's it's also the fact that we're reaching this younger audience and we're, we're bringing them in early and and so some of them are coming just because you know they know their friend's mom type of thing but others are coming because they've they've built this long interest in music and they want to get more involved and they want to see more and learn more so it's neat to be able to reach the kids in that regard I think one thing that I wish audience members or people who you know aren't involved in on stage um, could see is the magic that happens backstage whether oh, yes. it's watching from the wings and and seeing an amazing aria happen my favorite thing is being preset on stage before the curtain goes up and and there's all this shenanigans that goes on and, and the audience is out there with no idea that this is going on but we're back there just completely acting up but the minute you know the lights dim on the stage you know you've got to freeze mm -hmm. but then there's you know as much excitement as there is in the house it's the same energy backstage you know you're frozen in these positions and you just can't wait till those lights hit your face and you come alive in that moment like it's so exciting it's nothing that you would understand unless you were actually on the stage, but it's my favorite part of being on stage.